The man in charge of everything the military does in the stratosphere and cyberspace says America is barely meeting the daily challenge of cyber warfare. General William Shelton spoke this week to a group of ROTC members from across central Oklahoma. His mission was clear, convince young people that joining the Air Force is a quality career decision. For General William Shelton, speaking to ROTC members at Putnam City High School was a homecoming of sorts. He is a 1972 graduate of Moore High School and remembers well Putnam City High School. And Putnam City had a guy named Bob Shirley and another guy named Alvin Adams on their basketball team. And from ninth grade on, I played against those guys. General Shelton's presentation to the students was all business. He detailed his job as commander of the Air Force Space Command, which includes overseeing operations of numerous satellites, including the ones that would provide the only warning America would get if a major nuclear missile attack were launched, to fighting a daily war in cyberspace. And it's in cyberspace where the threat is growing daily. Well, we're hanging on by our fingernails and trying to, to stay up. Uh, one that it's the whole cyberspace domain, the whole dynamic of all that information technology, as you know, is just exploding. So how do we stay up with that? How do we stay current? How do we keep our defenses current? How do we uh, uh, train our people and keep them current? Uh, that's, that's what I meant. We're just hanging on by our fingernails as we try to keep pace. And in cyberspace, the general says the threat can come from just about anywhere. You need certainly the requisite knowledge, you need the software, you need a laptop, and you need an internet connection, and you're a player in the cyberspace domain. The key to keeping up with that expanding threat is finding new bright minds willing to sign on to take over the daily battle on the internet. We need people not only to, to be willing to come in and, and serve with us, but we also need them to stay with us. And retention is the big issue. The people General Shelton is looking for will spend two more years after college in specialty training in the military before they reach the title of a high-end operator. He says that kind of special skill is in great demand in the private sector. That's the problem. The private sector can throw a lot more money at these people. They can't give them as much responsibility. They can't give them as much leeway in terms of the things they're, they're going to be able to do. But for now, at least, the millions of attacks the military sees each day in cyberspace are falling short of their intended mark. Frankly, we're very good at repelling those millions of attacks. The ones that we're concerned about are the ones that maybe we don't see that get past what we call our sensors. We've got all kinds of detection capability out there on our networks. And if they've gotten past those sensors and they're inside our network and we're not seeing the activity, those are the ones that are really concerning. And yes, the U.S. military is using cyberspace, too, as a weapon. And for now, it's a weapon of stealth. Our best operations are the ones where we get in, we do what we need to do, and then we get back out, and nobody knows we've been there. In space, the general's biggest concern is the growing desire by some countries to develop satellite killers and put weapons in space, something, at least for now, has yet to occur.